Welcome to UV Physics. This is the question from perturbation theory. And here we have given a particle of uh, mass m is moving on uh, a circular ring of radius uh, capital R. So here we can take the wave function psi, uh, which is a definitely a function of a phi. We can take some constant e raised to i lambda phi. So uh, here uh, lambda takes values 0, plus r minus 1, plus r minus 2, and so on. So ground state is a non-degenerate and remaining all excited states are, uh, uh, de are having degeneracy too. Okay, here they are asking shift in the energy of, of uh, ground state. So I am taking ground state. Uh, that is a normalization constant is a 1 over under root uh, 2 pi. So e raised to i lambda phi and for ground state lambda is a 0 that's why it is a 1 over root 2 pi. Since uh, lambda is uh, 0. Now he's asking the correction to the energy first order correction which is uh, integral psi star h prime psi uh, here the variable is phi that's why here this is uh, d phi. And phi limits from where to where, here it is from 0 to 2 pi. So if you substitute all these things, uh, 1 over 2 pi is outside and small a pi capital R square is also outside and uh, this is uh, cos square phi d phi. Whenever you have a uh, cos square or sine square, you just apply a small technique that is uh, uh, integral sin square phi d phi or integral cos square phi uh, d phi. If you take the total interval, total interval means 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi. Whenever you are taking the total interval, so this answer is a simply half into length of the interval. Here the length of the interval is a 2 pi, so this is a simply pi. So from that, uh, this is uh, a by 2 pi r square into pi. So this is a final answer a by 2 r square. 